Generic greetings, and welcome to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Today's Cylon Sling beverage is... A nice cup of tea. So, this is a turn-based space strategy game set in the Battlestar Galactica universe and is something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. I am a huge fan of the Battlestar Galactica series, or rather, it's more accurate to say that I'm a big fan of the Reimagined series. I haven't actually sat down and watched the original through and through. I've caught a couple of episodes here and there, but I'm no big expert at all. And that presents me with a little bit of a problem because this is set during the first Cylon War, so during that series, or rather, it takes a lot of things from that. In fact, it takes a lot of things from both series, so it takes the look of the new ships and the sound and things like that, and mixes them all in to create their own little canon, and that works, but to be honest with you, I don't really want to get into too much of that right now, that's more for my preview that I'll do later on. This is just going to be me playing a bit of skirmish and enjoying a nice beverage. Hmm. The uh, campaign, I've played a couple of missions, but I haven't really gone into the meat of it, and I also haven't played the, uh, the multiplayer either, so like I say, I'll check that out later and do a more detailed breakdown later on. This is still in development, beta work in progress version 0.2.82. It is out on the 31st of August. As of the time recording, obviously it ain't out. Links are in the description, so you can check it out yourself. As far as I can tell, it's feature complete, but there's a couple of rough edges here and there which I'll point out as we go through. So let's go to skirmish and we'll do some fighting with that thing, because we're not going to mess around here. We're going to pick the big ass battle star and we're going to do some flak fields. We're going to do some launching of missiles. We're going to do the full lot because that's what you want to see. So, fleet points will go with 4,000. You kind of go to 8,000. I don't know why you've got these two options. Why don't you just have like whatever? Just pick the number you want. I don't know. Uh, the maps are limited refinery, frontier, arena, and then dark. You never will just go for the refinery there. And then you will select a fleet. So there's a couple of pre-made fleets on the left and right. You've got Cylons and Colonial. I think we'll modify a fleet and we'll make our own. So what we'll do, we'll have a Colonial fleet and then we'll start adding some ships. So the ra the ships range from Heavy Battlestar, the Jupiter, all the way down to a Manticore, which is a high-speed scout. Obviously, we're going to go with the Jupiter. We want a big-ass ship. And then we need something to... Uh to complement that. So we'll go with, well we could have the Ranger which is a long distance missile cruiser or the Minotaur which is a heavily armed warship. I like the idea of the Ranger, a long distance missile cruiser. We'll add that and what points we're on? 3,450. Well, we could change things. So you can see we've got missiles here with Viper Mark 1s, guided missiles. So you can change these guided missiles to things like uh, the PCM which is a projectile countermeasure, torpedoes which is unguided, Armor piercer, so it's an armor penetration missile. No, nah, we'll still go with the we'll go with the guided missile. And you can see they all have statistics like speed, range, damage, things like that. Um, with the uh, Battlestar Galactica, well, sorry, it's not Battlestar Galactica, it's the Battlestar. Galactica is in the campaign, or rather it's mentioned because it's gone missing and things like that. But I'm assuming it'll turn up later on at some point, perhaps. Anyway, uh, for the Battlestar, we'll change our guided missile to a nuke, because why not? And the Viper Mark 1s will go with a Mark 2 and a Mark 2, yeah. Two Mark Twos. You can also go for a Raptor and a Sweeper, but uh, you know that, that, that's that's what we're going to stick with. We'll stick with the Mark Twos. Um, there's no uh, ship with big honking space cannons on the front like uh, on Pegasus. Them big ass cannons. There's none of that as far as I can tell, which is a bit of a shame. But hey ho. And then we'll save that. There we go. And we will continue on that one. And then we have to pick the opponent. So obviously it's going to be the Cylons. It has to be asymmetrical. You can't have Colonial versus Colonial or Cylon v Cylon, as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe in multiplayer, but not in this one. Uh, and we'll say the Talon fleet, which is closest to us, I believe. 3,830, uh, 3,970. So actually, no, that one is the closest. Closest. This is the Revenant 1 3940. So we'll go with that one. We'll select that one. You can see it's got like uh, support ships, it's got gunships, things like that. We don't really care too much. We'll just jump in and I'll show you a bit of it. As I said, this isn't a full preview. I'm not going to be going into all the details, but I'll have a quick run through it, obviously. Hmm. That is a nice beverage. So we'll jump in and we jump in, and immediately you can see that the ships do actually look very nice. I was um I was a bit Surprised when I saw the trailer, I went, "Oh yeah, that's 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 some ships." I don't think it's gonna be that high fidelity, but the ships are very very detailed. They look very very nice indeed. I mean, look at the detail on like just the guns. Look, all the guns on the side. That's very very pretty. And obviously, we've got our um, battle star here as well with the flak on the top, and you can zoom right in. And there's the engine parts. Yeah, it's pretty good. Also, see these flight pods. I was. I was under the impression that they would like just be open when they come in, but it doesn't. It actually jumps in with the flight pods closed and then it opens up. So I was like, yep, yeah, okay, you've got the detail. Well done. Well, nice one. So anyway, the way you move a ship is you select it and then you get this green icon to show you where the ship is going to go. Now it is is turn-based, but it's not an I-go-you-go system, so I don't do something, then they do something. We all issue commands, both sides issue commands, and then it calculates it for, like, 
10 seconds or however many seconds it is um, and then you'll go back to do the same thing so what I'll do is I'm going to move this so you click on this and you can move it around within this field here this is uh, dependent on your speed and uh, your ship's maneuverability and also its um, current damage level but I'm just gonna put it over here and then once you once you've selected where it wants to go you can then alter its height and also its facing again based on the speed you're going and things like that but I'm just gonna put it like that and then we'll turn it around now it is uh, you, you do actually have height levels, which is something I'm not really a fan of. I, I've always thought that the height levels in these sort of games, yes, are more accurate, but it doesn't really add a lot to the game. Uh, because most of the guns anyway on ships, in terms of design, are always on the sides. Or the front. They're not really pointed up or down. But the way... The reason you want up or down in this one is because you can actually fly over rather than just smash into stuff. Also, um, there is actually armor uh, modeled on the top and bottom. You can see on the right hand side here, we've got um, armor for all of our facings as well as um, different things like thrust and hull points, which I'll get into later. And all of your damage, uh, all of your systems, so CIC, command and control, uh, navigation, fire control. If these get damaged, then it'll affect the ship in some negative way. Anyway, so I'll, we'll click on our battle start and we're going to move this one as well. Now, what I want to do is move it like that and then we'll keep the height level about the same as that. So, that's just the movement. What else do you want to set? Well, when you click on a ship, you can press space and you get a list of all its commands. You can also right-click on the same ship as well, but I prefer space. Um, so, for the battle star, you can see we've got posture changes, nuke control, which you've only got one of, repairing, so there's... Oh, we can't. I was going to show you all the subsystems, but we can't because we don't need to repair. Selecting your turrets, setting flak fields. At this point, all we want to do is click on squadrons and we want to launch all the squadrons. So, there we go. We'll get the, uh, the vipers out of the launch tubes. This ranger uh, has some munitions, it has guided missiles, but because we can't see the opponent, we've only got Dreadus contacts here. Dreadus is a mix between radar and a fish finder, I think. Uh, we can only see like the outline, so we know where they are and what their uh, what their speed is. Uh, and then we'll just end the turn. So what'll happen is these will crack on, and immediately you will see like um there you go, look, yes, all of the vipers is getting kicked out the side. Very, very nice. And it's all banking over very, very nice. And one of the things I don't like either as well is watch this. So this ship here, I'm going to alter its facing like so. I'm going to say face that way. Um, what will happen is this will jerk really badly to the other side. So maybe that that definitely needs to be smoothed up. Um, so that's going to move to there. But actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate my thrusters. Uh, I'm going to activate a boost. And you can go a bit further, but it reduces your arc of um, turning and such. So we'll just save that. Understood. And then I want to get, I want to actually slow this right down. In fact, I want to get it to about there and then turn it like that. The reason for that is I want to get it behind the battle star because I know that missiles are on the, they're going to be on their way at some point. So this here, the Viper, I'm going to move it over this side and I'm going to do the same thing with the other sets of Vipers because I want it nowhere near... I want it nowhere near... These, uh, this flak field when it starts to uh, kick off. So let's just end the turn there. And look at that, you see that jerk hard? It jerked hard when it turned round, so that needs to be smoothed out a little bit. But um, it's only a minor criticism. Anyway, so it's turned round. We can see we've still got the Dreadus contact, and oh, good grief, you can crash into things, so yeah, watch out. Okay, so this is going to be the uh, ship um, coming in ahead, and they want to have this. I want to have this one go to about there, and then that'll do us. Okay, so. And these ships are still moving. Uh, you can't click and drag. Can you select multiple ships? You can't, which is a bit of a shame. For fighters, it would be nice if you could. Uh, so we're going to move these over there. And we're going to do the same with that one. Move over to there. And then what I'll do is I'll go for this, the Jupiter. This is our battle star. And we're going to say flak. Initiate the flak field. We'll say right. You do get a warning to say friendly squadrons are active. So you can kill your own squadrons and indeed your own missiles. But I'm going to start kicking out loads of flak on the right hand side. Just so if uh, missiles come in it should hopefully take them out. So that is now firing flak as you can see. And this one uh, we can't really do anything with. So we'll say end the turn. And there's our flak field. So we've already got our flak field initiated. Then dee 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 dee. No, that, that is uh, missiles away. So here's the missiles coming in. Hopefully the flak field will be able to clip it. Yes, there's the flak field. And and we've managed to stop all of them missiles. That's exactly what we wanted. The flak field has got the missiles. So what I'll do is I will keep the battle star 
kicking this stuff out. I will actually turn off the thruster boost here because we don't need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the manticore ahead now. I'll actually turn on boost uh, thrusters because, as I said, if you try to fire through your own flak field, it's going to take them out and that's something you don't want. So we've already got some raider prototype squadrons heading in, so I'm going to order these then to target them. There we go, this is our vipers and we'll say select target those ones there. And then we will have a sip of beverage. Mm. And I think we will have the Jupiter. I think we'll focus fire. So we'll select focus fire and then we'll select a different ship. I'll select this thing because this is actually a ship. You do get small Dreadus contacts to uh, denote like fighters and such. So we're going to say that one there. It's unidentified, but we're going to focus on that one. You can get a better raid out if you go to turrets and you can see all of your turrets. You've got left, top, right, front, bottom. You can see what they are. Shows you what they do, all of their accuracy, things like that. I am just, like, say, focusing on that. Uh, and then we will end the turn. So the flag's still going. There's my shots kicking out. Look at that. There we go. So both of these are now firing. This is good. You can see the shots whizzing through there. It does look like your shots are... I think some of them were going through that. I don't know if it's uh, simulated where it uh, can hit it, but for that, I think it did go through. Either way, this is getting closer now. This thing here is bad because it will start to hack me. That's something the Cylons can do. When they start hacking you, you essentially get shut down. Your systems, your systems here, these subsystems will start to get damaged, and that is bad. That is all bad. So, um, I think the prototypes are straying into my flak field and my squadrons of fighters are following them in so that's probably quite bad either way let's get the missile boat over here and then what i'll do is i will i'm actually going to slow the battle star right down i don't want it any further than this and this one i'll say munitions guided missile will fire at that target there oh i can't fire at that target because we can't because it's a guided missile you have to uh, see the target so i'll just end the turn there so they're going into the flak field, and they're going to get absolutely decimated, I would assume. Oh, well, there we go. See this red line? That is me getting hacked. So we can see that my firewall, it's like a... This is like a overall defensive layer is slowly going down. Once the fire, fi once the firewall is removed, you then get damage on. In this case, the fire control, because that's the systems they are targeting. Uh, that nemesis is trying to back off, as you can see. It's now heading over this way, and its right arm is down to 12, so that is good. I'm doing damage. This one, then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start focusing on firing at them. So what I want to do instead, I want to move this further forward like so. Um, my fighters are dead. They're straight into the flak field and got absolutely ruined. Uh, I'm going to max out my attack value, so that increases my damage. If you want a better read out of that, what you yep. do is you go over to your posture, and you can see what will what will be affected. So you get a big readout of things like your CIC, your engineering. So that in that's increased if we're in uh, the defensive mode, but we're not. We're going to go for the offensive, which really increases the uh, fire control strength and increases the turret range and the damage. Although, do I want to do that? I really want to increase increase ideally my my um, firewall and where would the firewall be from um, firewall regen yeah we'll go on to def ah, we'll stick with balanced I think balanced is fine for now we'll stick with balanced so I'm going to cancel the flak I'm going to target my turrets on that thing there. So I'll just say, cancel focus fire. We'll refocus fire onto that one. We will fire a nuke at that ship in the middle and say, OK. And then this guy, we will say munitions, guide a missile on that this one. On munitions, guide a missile on that one. And then focus fire on that one there. You can use all of these. If you don't want to do, use that um, either right click or space option, you can just click on the... Uh, that the ones on the um, right hand side which is good because it's a quick select and here we go end the turn so my flak field stopped and you can see the shots are whizzing out and eventually there it is there's the nuke and there it goes hi oh <laughs> it's got three hull points left <laughs> yeah it didn't like that at all no it did not okay so this guy is getting a little bit too far ahead. I'm going to turn off his uh, thruster boost, and we're going to start shifting this way, uh, like so. We will... Ooh, I think I'm going to have to start turning the battle star around because it's... Uh, you can see its uh, right armor is getting very damaged. So what I'll do is I'm going to... Actually, I'm probably going to turn these ships right around like 
so. Yeah, like, I'll put our back to it. What I'll do is I'll, I'll just spin around. I've got the speed to do it, yep. so I might as well. Um, I'll put this guy onto uh, full defensive mode, and you can see our fire control is almost out. If that fire control stops, then we can't fire. So we need to uh, issue some repairs, and we'll have a subsystem repair of the fire control done. Because we are on more defensive, we actually get bonus to repair that. And the problem is I'm getting hacked. It's not damage, it's just the hacking uh, does a... It, it, it's well essentially it damages it yeah um so vipers are well it says it's there but uh, they're not there uh, they are dead and our missiles out so yeah that's all we can do focus fire i'm going to say oh I can't focus fire because my damage control is being repaired. So hopefully this Talon will just get shot in general. Actually, what I can do, I can probably focus fire on that here. And then end the turn and a couple of shots should hit it. It's on three hull points. Um, it looks like... Oh! I think... I think they rammed each other there. That's two ships being destroyed. I think they rammed each other. Yes, that's two ships. They rammed each other. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so... Spin the battle star around, like so. We are still repairing our fire control. I'm going to actually cancel that. I'm going to start repairing the hangar deck so I can focus fire on that thing because that is almost dead. This one we will bring to there. We will also go to munitions, guided missile, and start focusing on that guy because he is um, starting to get on my nerves because he's starting to hack me. So that one, that one, there we go. And actually, you know what might be decent? If I if I actually activate the flak field on the left hand side, yes. Okay, and then another turn. So you can see we start in the flak field. Ranger there we go. Damage. It sounds like the range well, is taking damage. There's the missiles out. I am trying to go for this talon. The front armor is gone, but the rest of it is full. So what I need to do is probably activate speed boost get in front of it uh, focus fire on that one again and this one will do the same we'll actually activate boost thrusters and go forward um, you can see my speeds low that's because the navigation's been damaged because I've got no right or rear armor so I'll repair that I'll set a repair crew on that and then in the turn see that there how jerky that was yeah that needs to be sorted I think it's just a bit mm, it's a bit iffy, especially in the replay, you can see. Come on, hit it! Come on! Yeah, it's two hull points. It's two hull points, but it's just not dead yet. Please die. Uh, actually, we'll turn off boost thrusters. We don't need it. Let's just get close. See if we can get into the flak field. That'd be even better. Um, that's already done. This one can crack on. Look at that. It's almost got no um, navigation whatsoever, so it's slowing right down. If we turn off boost thrusters, it can hardly move. <laughs> Right, that's bad. It's because this thing, that's got a lot of guns. It's been shooting me all this time. Actually, it's that one as well. Look, both of them. So, do we have any flak is the question. Yeah, we've got flak. I mean, but do we have any missiles? We do. So, let's focus on that one. Focus on that one. Um, hang on. Then missiles on that one. And firing guided missiles. Fire and guide the missiles. End the turn. Come on. Yeah, you see his left's getting hit now. His arm's going down. Is yeah, I know the range is taking damage. Range is about to die. There it goes. Range goes. Boom. It's gone. And that's bad. That's very bad. Because a battle star on its own, it's quite it's actually quite weak. I'm gonna have to start repairing that. Because I'm getting hacked. Which is bad. Go into full defensive mode, end the turn. It's just about surviving now. See, my flak doesn't stop anything. Uh, well, it doesn't stop hacking, that's for sure. And the armor's getting hit on the left. Looks like we've done enough repair on the fire control. Focus fire on that thing. Keep going around. If I can get closer to... I'm going to get some height on them, actually. So say we all, indeed. Uh, if we can get some height on them, it might help. Come on, this Talon is doing my head in. If we got a kill, then that'd be a huge amount of damage removed from the table. But it's not. And we've got no fire control, so there's not much we can do now. Yeah. Jupiter is taking damage. I think we we'll may have lost this. Just too much damage. 
and that Talon didn't die. That's the thing with nukes, that if they work, then fantastic. If they don't, then it's all bad. Uh, focus, fire. Oh, we can't because we're repairing. Repairing fire control. Let's start repairing hangar. Focus, fire on that thing. And cancel the flak. End the turn. Jupiter and then we can get the big game. guns firing properly. There you go, look. There you go. There's the Talon dead. And the Jupiter is... Yeah, there, there it goes. Should have cancelled the flak earlier on. And boom. There you go. So, let's view the replay. Um, we'll go to water cam, and this is something that they are that have, has been noted as being working on, uh, been worked on rather. So it ain't uh, yet complete because it's a bit uh, glitchy in places. There's, uh, I think it's on the back of their fighter, so it's zipping past their fleet. But you can see it doesn't fully angle in the right places, and it it's just a bit jerky. So yeah, hopefully that'll be worked on. Well, it is being worked on. Just hopefully it'll get fixed. There's uh, my ships over on the. Uh, far end there and you can see the flak field going up so hopefully we'll get a nice little zoom in of the uh, of the flak taking it out and uh, no the cameraman's decided to sit here because why not and now we'll zip through there's all the fighters you see but it looks pretty impressive my flak field eh, we'll uh, we'll stop that so yeah that was the fight that was the fight, right? We'll go back. Um, nothing much to really do there. Uh, hang on, can we, can we, can we actually do that? Back, please. Gonna, gonna, gonna stop. Is it? There we go. And then we'll proceed. So yeah, that was one fight of uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. I, uh, I quite like it. I do indeed. There's a couple of things that's obviously a bit rough around the edges, and uh, you know, it'd be nice to have more maps, more options for fleet points. More ships would be nice, but I, I accept that what we've got is uh, fairly decent anyway. But more stuff on the map as well. They can select these things, but there's not like um, dust clouds to hide in or right, like you know asteroids to like block shots. I mean, well, there is asteroids that will will do that, but not like big fields and damage as you go through. And it would be nice to have some more terrain effects. But uh, that's just a quick bit of Battlestar Galactica deadlock. As I said, the uh, the skirmish seems to be uh, fairly decent. The multiplayer I haven't tried. Very looking forward to uh, having a go at that one. And the campaign, um, well, I'll have a, I'll, have, I'll just actually what I'll do is I'll um, I'll resume the campaign. I'll, I'll just have a quick rundown, but it is only a very very quick rundown here of what it's like. So essentially, this is I believe uh, chapter five, Mark. Yeah, chapter five. So this is this is how far I'm in. Like I've done the first four missions, and you have the all the twelve colonies, uh, and you've got um, different. Um, systems uh, and you got different uh, different points so um, this is your like jump lanes you can't jump from one side to the other because of story and reasons that I won't spoil um, and each planet will generate something so they'll give you uh, some political points uh, they'll give you some uh, tillium which is used to build ships and you will be able to as I said build said uh, different ships so there you go there's different types you can this is the ones that are in the queue at the moment you can rush the ships out you've got officers that you can recruit and this is the one that's active, and then you level them up as well, which gives them uh, basically statistical bonuses um, for certain things. So it's a bit bland, but it is what it is. You know, you can at least level some up. It doesn't give you abilities, which I don't mind. You know, it just gives you um, some nice um, extra fleet points in uh, certain things or uh, bonuses to subsystems and that sort of thing. Uh, you've got a full economy breakdown as well, which will show you, like, well, it should show you all of the list of, uh, uh, all of the list of, uh, um, planets, but it doesn't for some reason. And you've got blueprints, which you can start unlocking different things, uh, which, uh, not all the chores here, but I've just unlocked torpedoes, and we've just got this ship, so as you progress on, you'll unlock different things in the campaign. You can actually wander around as well, look at that. You can just, uh, wander around yourself. This is on the, uh, uh, space station type thing that you're on, which, uh, is that, actually, that thing there. That fleet group, uh, Daedalus. And that travels around, and you do missions, and then you'll have different raids, and you'll have to protect the different colonies, and make sure they're not uh, like breaking away and things like that. So yeah, it's uh, fairly fleshed out. It's fairly fleshed out. Well, that's that's like I say, just a brief overview. And you've got end turn. You have to end the turn to uh, get the uh, rest of the ships because I've got two fleets. I've got this one over here and this one here, and yeah, you'll move them around because you're like the uh, you're sort of, you're the XO of um, Admiral Kane. So yeah, that's it. Right, that, that's a little bit of the campaign. Like I said, it's very, very, very brief overview. But uh, yeah, I'll be doing a full um, go, a full breakdown of it and whatnot as a preview. But yeah, from what I've seen, quite impressed. I do enjoy it. 
aside from the couple of things that I have mentioned, but hopefully the majority of that will be ironed out in the next couple of weeks before release. Links in the description if you want to check the game out yourself. It's your on the 31st of August, and I will be featuring more of it. You can pretty much guarantee that, because as I said, I love Battlestar Galactica, and I am enjoying what I'm playing. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and generic partings. <laughs>